Emergencies happen. There may come a time when you'll be in a bad situation and will have no way to communicate with someone else. For example, I went through to ice storms that knocked out power and had no cell service or internet for communication. We were stranded at home until the roads was mostly clear of trees and ice, which took about a week. We did have a generator for backup power, but all we could do was watch TV and listen to the radio. Not to mention we about ran out of fuel. We did not know if everyone else was safe or not. I did have in CD or software on the find radio or so I could listen to emergency services and amateur radio operators communicate over there. However, that was more for entertainment than anything. What I needed, and wished I had had at the time, was a CB radio. You do not need a license to use it, but there are rules you have to follow. If you don't want to risk a large FCC fine, you cannot modify the CB equipment, and it cannot be used to break any laws, use obscene or profane words, interfere with another person talking, Use the word MATO unless you're in danger on a ship or aircraft. Advertising political candidates' campaigns as well as stuff for sale and rebroadcast a TV or radio show. One-way communication is only allowed when you're testing the radio out needing aid while traveling and for emergencies. In America, international communications are not allowed unless the other person is in Canada. CB is meant to be used for a short amount of time unless you're helping a traveler reach their destination or to help provide whatever service they need. Besides that, you will need to limit the length of communication to the minimum time needed. Continuous communications cannot last more than five seconds. After ending a conversation, you will have to wait one minute to transmit again. All channels, except 9 and 19, is open to everyone. Channel 9 is for emergencies only, and Channel 19 is for truckers. Long story short, it is a great way to communicate to other locals for emergency use, as well as a hobby. The rules are set in place so that a large amount of people can communicate with each other without any issues. Any CB radio will still work, even the old ones. You can get them for as low as $20 on you, even less at yard sales flea markets. So they can also go up to hundreds of dollars. If you want it just for emergencies, any that has a channel 9 will work. For hobbyists, you may want one with a CB, a single sideband option.